Good afternoon, Colorado. I am Larry Herz with What's for Lunch, a Tuesday edition. I have Hank's Texas Barbecue, lower and slower. And they brought me a hat, they brought me food, they brought me an apron, they brought me cocktails. Brandon and Chris, thank you so cheers, much for coming cheers. in. Thank cheers. Thank you for having us. Oh, that's delightful. We'll start, we'll start off with what'd you bring me to drink? Yeah, so today I uh, brought one of our specialty cocktails that we do have at Hank. So this is going to be a strawberry basil uh, with a little lemon, black tea, topped with vodka. Uh, so that's going to be one of our specialty hands on the wheels that for the summertime we will actually be doing this frozen. So we have a frozen drink machine, so we'll have margaritas, frozen lemonades, some frozen hands on the wheels. So a lot of stuff to complement our patio out there. So we'll have a lot of fun stuff planned for the summer while we can. Freaking amazing. I would love to have this like sitting by the pool. Could you like deliver it to my pool? <laughs> well, we're the next that. year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give us a little background of Hanks. Who's Hank? Hank is the dog on the hat. He's our eight-year-old Dachshund. He's a mini, so he's about 11 pounds soaking wet. Um, Hanks has been a concept that I've been working on for about eight years now. It started back when I was working in Chicago. I just was tired of working for someone else and loved doing barbecue and started making a business plan. and. Five years later, we opened the door to Hank's, and that was uh, facilitated through Justin Brunson and Goose from Solera. Yep. Uh, so they were a big. You're in the old Solera space. We are in the old Solera spot, and so yeah. it's awesome to be in that very established building. And, and what's your background? You said Chicago. Is that where you grew up? I grew up in Spring, Texas, right outside of Houston. Okay, so that's where yeah. the Texas barbecue. I was yeah. like, where does Chicago? <laughs> Moved to Chicago when I was 18 and spent 12 years there, and then decided I just wanted to get out and need to wake up and ended up out here with Hanks and couldn't be happier. And when did Hanks open? Uh, we opened on February 6th of 2018. Okay. So we've been open for almost a little over a year and a half now. And what's the difference? What does Texas barbecue mean? What's the difference between Texas and Kansas? And um, so for me, Texas barbecue, there's also almost three different types of barbecue in Texas itself. Uh -huh. We have Central, East, and West, but we focus on the Central Texas. It's all dry rub. Uh, we like to use post oak as our wood. So we'll never sauce any meats. That's up to you if you want to use any of these sauces. I would say that the most sauce you'll get is either on the sandwich or on the loaded smoked potato. But all the brisket and the beef ribs are always just going to be salt, pepper. I do put a little of our dry rub on there for a kick, but that's the only thing that, different that we do. All right. So right here we have a beef rib. We do those on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, they yes, are a big hit. They go quick. So if you know you want one, give us a call and get it reserved. I mean, are you kidding me? Amazing, yeah. So, I'm Jewish, but I eat pork. But there's a lot of Jewish people in this town who look for beef ribs, and it's not that many people do it. They're a great thing that we like to do on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, we have the brisket every day. This is going to be your fattier end of the brisket, so it's going to have a lot more internal fat content. It's going to be a lot ten more tender. Excuse me. Um, we don't do typical burnt ends. We keep the point and the flat intact. So this is our version of a burnt end. I'll just cut some of the, fl uh, excuse me, the point off and then slice it. And then the flat will be your leaner brisket. And that's whatever you like, you like. I love the fatty or the mix. And then on this guy. Are you have, doing your own pickles and pickled red onions? Yes, sir. We do it all in house. I thought you did. Uh, we do also offer some dill pickles if you like just the regular pickles as well though. I like these pickles. They're a nice little sweet and spicy kick to them. Mm. And then I brought two of our specialty sandwiches. This Correct. is going to be the Tejas. So it's got blue cheese, onions, arugula, and it's got our house sauce, and then some tomatoes, and then brisket. Like I said, I like to have it mixed on there. And then right behind it, this is going to be a... This is my kind of sandwich. I'm a coleslaw sandwich go. guy. So that's our Napoleon. It's got pulled pork, coleslaw, and then our house vinegar sauce on there name is inspired from Old Major. Uh, and then we also brought our loaded smoked potato, which is a classic that people love. Really great in the winter time as well, even though we're transitioning in the summer. And then you got a bunch of different sauces. What kind of sauces are you making? So we make all sauces in house. This will be our regular house sauce. This will be our mustard sauce. It's almost comparable to a honey mustard, I like to say. This is our chili vinegar. It's got some green chilies, red chilies, and then a bunch of And you put this on brisket or something? Uh, that is actually on the Napoleon. So okay, so you wouldn't use that on, on this stuff? To each their own, you know, if yeah, that's what you like, right. get in there. And then that's just our regular spicy sauce. So that's our regular sauce with about a gallon of chipotle peppers just immersion blended into it. 
No, let's keep going with the food. What else you got here? Um, so this is our potato salad. It's my mom's recipe. Uh, we got some tortilla cheese, potatoes, jalapenos, celery, and then I top it with some dry rub. And then our other, one of my favorite sides, which is a Tex-Mex style pinto beans. We don't usually, or excuse me, we don't do the typical sweet barbecue beans. Right. These are going to be a little savory uh, sour cream heat on there. Uh, I love eating those with a flour tortilla just or chips. It's a great dip. And then this is a little summer dish we're working on. It's a peach salad. So it's peaches tossed with some sugar, some Fresno peppers, pickled red onions, cilantro. Then we just top it with some whipped cream, mint, and then one more Fresno. Not your typical barbecue fare, right? <laughs> I mean, that's stepping it up a notch. Now there's something missing, I've noticed. <laughs> this is the one Did, thing Do you not carry about. it anymore? <laughs> is, there a, is there a banana shortage I don't know about? That's the one shortage I haven't heard of, actually. <laughs> uh, no, I just forgot, and I take full responsibility. Am I right? Oh. It's one of the greatest things you make? It's one of our top sellers. Okay. It's banana pudding. Banana pudding. Uh, so I've been there, and I've had the banana pudding, and it's ridiculous. It's so freaking good. And so when they said they were coming on, I'm like, they're, they're like, what should we bring? I'm like, I don't care what you bring as long as you bring the banana pudding. First thing you asked me when I got up, where's so the banana One job. One job. <laughs> one job. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> but everything still looks great. Tell them uh, where you're located. The We're exact located address. at 5410 East Colfax. So it's going to be in between Colorado and Monaco on Colfax. And then our phone number is 720 <laughs> 277-3225. Got it. It's funny how that nobody, I can't tell you one digit of my kids' phone numbers. Cell phones have ruined everything. Nothing. I know nothing. You used uh, to be able to know everyone's. Oh, That's sure. I still remember mine from second grade. Right. <laughs> but now, no, nobody's. Um, so you, you had to close the dining room, but now the dining room's reopened, right? We're back at 50% capacity in the dining room as well as 50% on our patio. So yeah. we're very fortunate to have an amazing patio space yeah, already. Patio. Um, so we have some water features out there and then just kind of waiting on the city to give us a go-ahead to when we can have a one-piece kind of acoustic band, which is something that really people love on our patio on Friday nights is live music. So. And, and your concept is is not uh, full service, right? It's counter service. They go up, they order, and then... Yep, they, and we right. operate 11 to sold out Wednesday through Sunday. So you'll come in, you'll order at the counter. Wait, wait, say it again. 11? 11 to sold out. So we don't have a closing time. When we're done, we're done. We don't reuse proteins, so call early if you want us to set something aside for you. We are doing that right now just to try and accommodate everybody. Um, and seven days a week? Um, no. Wednesday through Sunday. Wednesday through We're Sunday. working on Tuesday and a possible brunch menu. It's always, it's, you've never been doing seven days. Though, no, right? we've always been this. Wednesday through Sunday. Which is, is way for some reason barbecue's done, right? Yeah. Nobody does seven days. Is that the barbecue lifestyle? Is that what I really I mean, I'm still there almost seven days, but I need a day to clean the smoke around and then get the briskets right. going for Wednesday. So that's a whole process that starts today. So. And then uh, are you available through delivery services? We do not, unfortunately, use delivery services right. at the it's moment. It's not unfortunate. Um, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> they just do a lot of things without asking you. Uh, <laughs> But yeah. we do offer carryout, and you're more than welcome to call starting at 10.30 uh, the morning of, and we will set anything aside for you. And we do say that that is the best way if you know you want a beef rib on a Saturday. Give Brandon a call at 10.30. We'll get that set aside, and you can come pick it up whenever you like. Okay. And if you do have bigger orders, then you can always call a couple days ahead. To, uh, you know, we can put that aside for you. Yeah, I, I would bet you guys kill it for catering. You guys do some catering? We love catering. Um, we would always just ask that you email us at chris at hankstexasbarbecue.com, as well as you can check our website out at hankstexasbarbecue.com. That's well done. You did that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so other than forgetting your phone number and the banana pudding, I think you did a great job. Thanks, Thanks for coming so. in, boys. Hey, Josh, appreciate cheers. it. Thanks, Thanks for having cheers. us on. We appreciate it. Looking forward to trying all this, although I've had it all before. It's all great. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. You know what I'm going for, boys. <laughs> Let's eat.